Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Smoking Steve's today. Today we're going to be fixing up a lemon teriyaki salmon filet and it's really going to be good. I've cooked these before and they're so simple to cook. Uh, they're really easy. Anybody can do it. It doesn't take very long to cook them or prep them or anything. It's just all good and, and it's uh, good for you to eat too. So, uh, you know, I figured, the way I figure, if you can eat salmon or something good for you, you got room for some peach cobbler. And I just did a video on that peach cobbler, cooking that out, out there on the bullseye, and it was really good. So check out the link above and uh, watch that video. That was some good peach cobbler. But anyway, we're going to be cooking this uh, uh, salmon filet out on the uh, Rectech bullseye today. And we're going to be using uh, Bear Mountain pellets. Uh, we're going to be smoking it with a uh, bold flavor. Uh, that's one of my favorite flavors. Okay, here's what we're starting out with. Atlantic salmon. And at uh, the time we purchased this, it was $9.18 a pound. And uh, this guy weighs in at 1.16 pounds. So uh, we're going to get this thing uh, unpackaged here, get him rinsed off, get him seasoned up and uh, get him all prepped up for the grill. Okay guys, I've got the uh, salmon filet sitting here. I uh, did rinse it off and pat it dry with a paper towel. And first of all, we're gonna spray it down with some uh, extra virgin olive oil. And I got this sprayer here. <clears throat> and I just love this sprayer, it really works great. And uh, I'll have a link underneath the video to where you can check this out and pick one up if you like. And uh, I'll have a lot of other of my favorite stuff uh, underneath the video where you can check those out as well. So let's go ahead and get this guy sprayed down. See how nice that comes out? Really nice. That'll give something uh, for a rub to stick to. And what we're using for a rub is Dizzy Pig uh, Raging River. Really good on uh, fish and uh, particularly salmon. So we're going to go ahead and give a light coat of this on there. You want to get it covered, but uh, you don't want to go real heavy on it. Just a light coat. And if you got a favorite uh, seasoning that you like on your uh, salmon or your fish, uh, Go ahead and use that, or if you want to step out of the box and try something different, get you some of this uh, Raging River from Dizzy Pig. And uh, like I say, I'll have a link uh, for uh, Dizzy Pig uh, rubs and seasonings uh, underneath the video as well. So what we're going to do, let this get nice and happy for a little bit, put it in the fridge, uh, then get it pulled out right before we're ready to cook it, and uh, finish the prep work up. We got a no more prep to do before we throw it on the grill, but uh, first we're going to let it get nice and happy. Okay, we got that salmon thrown in the fridge. Got getting all nice and happy. And uh, once we're uh, getting a little closer to lunchtime, uh, we'll get that pulled out, finish uh, getting it all prepped up, go fire that bullseye up, get that up to temp, and we'll be sailing. We'll be sailing. So uh, let's kick back for a little bit and let that uh, salmon get nice and happy. Okay, here's what we're cooking on today, the uh, Rectech Bullseye. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and fire this guy up. And the last cook, I had it up to 400. We're gonna go ahead and lower that temperature to 225. Then once that gets up to temperature, uh, we'll be putting that salmon on. And uh, we'll go over here to uh, actual display temperature. Whoops. And it's showing the uh, grill temperature right now at 92 degrees. So we'll let that go ahead and get heated up to 225. And uh, we'll take a look inside here. Dripping a little bit of water from the lid there where it got rained on. But. Uh, Let's look at the inside of it. I've got a nice cast iron grate here, uh, which everybody asked me about, and I'll have a link uh, underneath the video for that as well. So let's go ahead and let this guy get uh, 
up to 225 and then we'll get that salmon on. Okay, we got that smoker fired up and it's getting uh, heated up to 225. And uh, while we're waiting now on that, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, put some lemon slices on there. I went ahead and sliced some uh, lemons up. And uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and let that cook with those slices on there. And, uh, and once it's cooked and we bring it inside, we'll be squeezing all that lemon juice on there, that extra lemon juice, and it's really going to be good. And I got some uh, scallions cut up here. We'll be adding those uh, uh, once we get them off the grill. So uh, let's let that grill get heated up to 225 and uh, we'll get these babies thrown on. Okay guys, once that salmon gets uh, almost to uh, uh, the right temperature to pull it off, we're going to be putting some uh, glaze on there some uh, honey teriyaki glaze. We're at uh, 224. Got it set for 225. And then getting a lot of smoke here. I don't know whether you can see it uh, or not, but uh, we're getting a lot of smoke. So we're going to go ahead and get these uh, salmon fillets put on here. Okay, we got them on the grill here. And we got our temperature probe uh, stuck in the side. So uh, once that gets up to 145 degrees, uh, we'll be taking them inside and uh, do a taste test. But uh, before that, uh, we'll be putting that teriyaki sauce on there. But for now, let's go ahead and get her closed up and uh, let her smoke. Okay, these have been smoking away for about uh, 15 minutes. And it's showing the uh, internal temperature of the uh, salmon being at 82. So we got a little ways to go yet. We'll just take a quick peek at them. Looking mighty good. Mighty good. And uh, we're getting uh, quite a bit of smoke from those Bear Mountain pellets. I don't know whether you can pick it up on your screen or not, but uh, uh, quite a bit of smoke. Okay, our internal temperature just hit uh, 120 degrees. So we're going to open her up and uh, take a peek. Looking good, looking good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, drizzle our honey teriyaki on there. that to kind of uh, cook into that salmon. Kind of brush that around a little bit. Man, these are really looking good. I can't wait to tear into these. So we're going to get this lid closed up and uh, let these fillets finish smoking and we'll be taking them inside for a taste test. Okay, I got those salmon fillets pulled inside here. They was on that smoker for about an hour. Uh, right at an hour. So uh, cooked them at 225, pulled them off at 145 internal temperature, and they are looking and smelling awesome. So we're going to get these all plated up, and I'm going to do a taste test, my favorite part. Okay, I got that salmon all plated up, along with the salad here. This is really looking good. And the wife, we got her plate all fixed up here. She's going with the salmon right on the salad. Looking good as well. So uh, whether you plate it up on your salad or beside your salad, it's all good. 
There's only one thing left. That's the taste test. I did forget one thing. We're going to add a little bit of scallions here to that salmon. Dress it up. Just add an extra layer of flavor. So let me give me a little bite and do that taste test. Okay, got me a little bite right here. A couple little scallions. We're going in. Mmm. That's some good stuff. That rub along with that honey teriyaki. This is really good. I'm loving it. So guys, this is a nice healthy meal. It's real easy to fix. And it's good for you. So now I'm not going to feel so guilty about eating that peach cobbler when I'm done with this. Maybe I should. But I'm going to have some in there. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Hope to see you on the next one.